Pamela Moss will spend the rest of her life behind bars after a jury found her guilty in the murder of a Henry County businessman. 41 NBC's Amanda Castro has been following that trial all week for us. She joins us in the studio with what happened on the last day of court. Andrew, after two and a half days of testimony and closing arguments this morning, the jury came to its decision in 30 minutes. The defense tried to convince jurors Pamela Moss was insane or mentally ill when she killed Douglas Coker back in March of 2012, but the state called that defense pure garbage. This case is saturated with evidence that she knew exactly what she was doing, just like that living room was saturated with Mr. Coker's blood. Evidence Jones County District Attorney Fred Bright says proved Pamela Moss was of sound mind when she killed Douglas Coker. Pam Moss had a goal. She did. She had flim flam this man out of money. She didn't want to pay him back. She lured him to her home to kill him. Everything she did was to hide her misdeed after she did it. Moss's attorney Frank Hogue argued she suffers from multiple personality disorder. He was seeking a not guilty by reason of insanity verdict, claiming an alter ego killed Coker. This woman had to have some kind of delusion to believe that she was in danger or whatever alter ego came out was in danger or there's no justification for killing Mr. Coker even though he didn't do anything to cause that in reality. But the jury didn't buy it. We found the defendant uh, guilty. She's sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. She now knows that she's going to die in prison. She will never be free again. Now, I had prepared her for that. And it wasn't exactly a shock to her either. The state believes it's justice for the victim's family, who says this woman violently murdered a good, honest, caring family man and a wonderful husband. I want you to know that I think you are evil, and that is the only way that God would have allowed this to happen. This was quite frankly just another way to get out of what it is that she's done and not answer to what she's done. And the jury has returned a verdict that in fact holds her accountable for that. It's interesting to note Pamela Moss did not want to sit in the courtroom during the trial, but she was there for the verdict and sentencing. She never looked at the victim's family. She just sat there rocking back and forth in her seat with her head down.